I have found it interesting that one of the most popular videos on my channel is where I gave some uh, material on uh, Fudo Myo'o, the immovable radiant king, or also known as Achala. And so I thought I would throw out a few more uh, comments on this, these reflections being provided by the Shingon Buddhist International Institute. And, of course, Shingon is esoteric Buddhism, and that's the context in which this particular figure is highlighted and described. So what they say there is, Achala Vidyaraja is one of the Vidyarajas, or Myo'o's, class of deities, and a very wrathful deity. He is portrayed holding a sword in his right hand and a coiled rope in his left hand. With this sword of wisdom, Achala cuts through deluded and ignorant minds, and with the rope he binds those who are ruled by their violent passions and emotions. He leads them onto the correct path of self-control. Achala is also portrayed surrounded by flames, flames which consume the evil and the defilements of this world. He sits on a flat rock which symbolizes the unshakable peace and bliss which he bestows to the minds and the bodies of his devotees. As far as his purpose and vows, it is said that Achala transmits the teachings and the injunctions of Mahavarachana to all living beings, and whether they agree to accept or to reject these injunctions is up to them. Achala's blue black body and fierce face symbolize the force of his will to draw all beings to follow the teachings of the Buddha. Nevertheless, Achala's nature is essentially one of compassion, and he has vowed to be of service to all beings for eternity. Achala also represents his aspect of service by having his hair knotted in the style of a servant. His hair is tied into seven knots and falls down from his head on the left side. Achala has two teeth protruding from out of his mouth, an upper tooth and a lower tooth. The upper tooth is pointed downward, and this represents his bestowing unlimited compassion on those who are suffering in body and spirit. His lower tooth is pointed upward, and this represents the strength of his desire to progress upward in his service for the truth. In his upward search for Bodhi, and in his downward concern for suffering beings, he represents the beginning of the religious quest, the awakening of the Bodhicitta, and the beginning of his compassionate concern for others. It is for this reason that the figure of Achala is placed first among the thirteen deities. His vow is to do battle with evil with a powerful mind of compassion, and to work for the protection of true happiness. To pray for recovery from illness and for safety while traveling is to rely upon his vow and power to save. Achala is also the guide for the deceased, to help save them and assist them in becoming Buddhas for the first seven days after death. Homage to the all-pervading Vajras, O oh, violent one of great wrath, destroy! Hum trad ham bam. Hum trad ham bam. Hum trad ham bam.